let's get some practice adding numbers that involve hundreds. So pause this video and see if you can add these two numbers. See what you get. All right, now let's work through this together. Now there is many different ways to add decimals, and you'll learn more systematic, faster ways of doing it in the future. But I'll show you the the a few ways that my brain might think about it. So one way to think about it is you could say that this is 53 hundredths. You could read this as either 5 tenths and 3 hundredths, or 53 hundredths. So you could say this is 53 hundredths, hundredths. And to that, you are going to add 42 hundredths, 42 hundredths. And so if I have 53 of something, and I'm going to add 42 of that same something to it, what am I going to get? Well, what's 53 plus 42? Well, in my head, I say, well, 50 plus 40 is 90, and 3 plus 2 is 5, so it's going to be 95 hundredths. 95 hundredths, and if I wanted to write that as a pure number, I would write that as 0.95, which I could read as 95 hundredths, hundredths, or 9 tenths and 5 hundredths. Now the other way we could have thought about it is we could have broken these numbers up. We could have said that this first number is five tenths plus three hundredths, hundredths, and then the second number we could have rewritten as four tenths plus two hundredths. Let me make sure my decimals. Plus two hundredths, and then we could have separately added the tenths and the hundredths. So you have. Five tenths plus four tenths, so five tenths plus four tenths, and then you could separately add three hundredths plus two hundredths. So three hundredths. I have a little trouble saying that. Plus two hundredths, and so what do I get? Well, five tenths and four tenths, and we've done this in previous videos. If I have five of something and I add four of it, that's going to be nine tenths. So it's going to be nine tenths. And then the three hundredths plus two hundredths, well, that's going to be five hundredths. So plus zero point zero five, and then nine tenths plus five hundredths is going to be. I know I'm saying hundredths kind of strange. Is going to be nine tenths and five hundredths, which you could also say as ninety five hundredths. Let's do another example, one that's a little bit more. Involved. So let's say I want to add sixty-eight hundredths to thirty-three hundredths. What is this going to be? And like always, pause the video and see if you can figure it out on your own. Well, there's a couple of ways to think about it. One way we could split up the tenths and the hundredths. Actually, let's do it that way. So if we we could rewrite this first number as six tenths plus eight hundredths, and the second number we could write as three tenths plus three hundredths. Let me do that in that orange color. So three tenths plus three plus three tenths plus three hundredths, and so if I add the So if I add the six tenths and the three tenths, so let me just do that. I'm going to write every step here. If you're doing this in your head, or if you're doing this on paper, you wouldn't necessarily write every step here. So those are the tenths, and then separately I'm going to add the hundredths. So plus eight hundredths plus three hundredths plus three hundredths. So six tenths plus three tenths. We've done this in previous videos. That's hopefully pretty straightforward by this point. If it's not, I encourage you to review some of those earlier videos. So that's going to be nine tenths. If I have six of something and then I add three of them, in this case we're talking about tenths, I'm going to get nine of them. So nine tenths. And so what's this going to be? Well, you could view this as eight hundredths, eight hundredths plus three hundredths. So if I have eight of something and I add three of something, that's going to get eleven of that something. Eleven hundredths. So how do we write eleven hundredths as a decimal? Well, one way to write it, you could just view this as 
0.11. This is 11 hundredths. Many people would read this as 11 hundredths. Or you could view this as equaling 10 hundredths, 10 hundredths plus 1 hundredth, hundredth. And 10 hundredths right over here is 1 tenth. So you could view this as 1 tenth and 1 hundredth. So 1 tenth and 1 hundredth. And when you add everything together, what do you get? Well, you get 9 tenths plus 1 tenth plus 1 hundredth. Well, now this is going to get interesting still. So let's see. Let me re actually rewrite this. So it's going to be 9 tenths. And this one, let me write it plus 1 tenth plus that 1 hundredth left over. So plus that 1 hundredth. So what is this going to be? So 9 tenths, 9 tenths and 1 tenth, that's going to be 9 tenths and 1 tenth is going to be 10 tenths. 10 tenths, which is the same thing as 1 whole. So this is just going to be equal to 1. So it's going to be 1 plus 1 hundredth. So it's going to be 1 and 1 hundredth. And we are done. As I keep mentioning, in future videos, we're going to learn maybe faster ways of doing this, maybe ways that you might be able to do a little bit more automatically. But it's really important to think about what we just went here and how we were able to think, okay, 11 hundredths is the same thing as a tenth and a hundredth. And then taking that tenth and then adding it to the nine tenths that we already had, said, hey, that's a whole. And in the future, we're going to be doing things like carrying with decimals. But this is essentially what is happening underneath conceptually. It's really important that you get a sense of that before you learn the faster methods.